We're back to discuss Spider-Man Homecoming, and if you saw our review, um, we all liked the film quite a bit. Um, yeah, I really liked the fact that um, Spider-Man was just a already established thing in the last uh, Avengers movie, and in this, there they it's really the, the it's not this frenetic breakneck end of the world story that's being told. It's just. It's this kid trying to get through high school who also has superpowers. Um, but, you know, Iron Man shows up every once in a while. And um, John Favreau is kind of his main contact, which is, like, funny. And it's fun to see him, like, just sort of being in a movie, a Marvel movie <laughs> it's again. It's funny because he was an Iron Man director. Yeah, he? and now he's just, like, he's, like, the third <laughs> awesome. lead in Spider-Man Homecoming. Um that's all. I thought that was all really well done, and they did a lot of smart things, like um, not making a big deal about things that we know will happen or things that uh, are expected to happen. You know, the ending of the movie is Aunt May finding out that he's Spider-Man. That's a reveal. It didn't need to. They don't need to have like. 20 minutes of dialogue about it. It didn't need to be a plot line all through the movie. Just surprise. Next movie, <laughs> we'll, we'll just pick through. up and she knows. There, You know, we won't have to deal with mm. that, like, a whole conversation about it. It'll be, just be, you know, be careful and be safe and <laughs> all that other stuff. Um, I thought Michael Keaton was really interesting. I thought that character was really cool. He was really fleshed out, huh? Yeah. It wasn't, like, some black and white, like, villain guy. I like that they gave him that post-credit thing where he sort of uh, he didn't betray Peter to Nacho from Breaking Bad and <laughs> that's what I was thinking too um, uh, so yeah I thought all that stuff was really well done um, I loved the behind the scenes look at, at Captain America Civil War the little home video that he shot at the beginning Yeah, that was hilarious and perfectly Spider-Man that was cool um I felt like the, in a worse movie, um, that Staten Island Ferry thing would have been the climax of the movie. That would have been the end. Um, and I don't feel like it would, would have been bad that for them to end there, because I thought that was enough of a climax for it to be, be over. Um, but having it in there, I thought that should have probably been tightened up a little bit. It felt like it was a little bloated, that section. Mm -hmm. um, it just seemed to go on and on and really have no point except to show, to show that he needed... Well, that, to show that... Show him failing. Failing. He, that yeah. Iron Man needed to come and save him. And, um, but that was interesting. Uh, what else? I'm sure there are people that are going to... Like, people that are... Uh, really invested in the Spider-Man comics or whatever that are going to be upset about who and how they cast the different other characters like Flash and MJ and um, whatever. But I like that they didn't go anything like, yeah, we, he likes a girl, yeah, he's afraid to talk to her, but I, I like that there wasn't the back and forth romantic yeah, oh, they didn't get did. stuck like, in that. Yeah. I, was, I thought it was going to go that direction. I thought that it, it was going to go that way, and I was just like, please don't. We already know how this is going to go. And then kept the focus. The Amazing yeah. Spider Man 2, that's like. Actually, both the Amazing Spider Man movies, but, but. The Amazing Spider Man is a romance movie. Yeah. That also happens to have superhero stuff in it. Yeah. And it's, it's dreadful. Um, the best part of those movies are Andrew Garfield and Emma Stone's chemistry because mm -hmm. they were a real couple when they were making that movie or those that series of movies. But, like, that's not what you want in your Spider-Man movie. Oh. Um, and, I mean, Andrew Garfield doesn't look like a teenager. Tom Holland looks like a teenager. They finally got, like, a younger, a younger actor that actually looks like he could be in high school, so... Yeah. I like how they did the little the scenes with him like starting out like saving the neighborhood doing things like that before he just like I'm gonna go bring this ship in and you know like just went too far 
So I thought that was kind of nice. So you got a little bit yeah. of what he does in his everyday life. Yeah. So. Absolutely. But yeah, um, if you made it this far, check it out. It's uh, it's a, it's one worth seeing. Um, Definitely. Marvel makes good movies. This will make a billion dollars at the box office. <laughs> um, if you like what we do, please like the video, subscribe, check out all the written and video reviews at DaleMaxfield.com. Thanks for watching.